Godly Play, I'm going to tell the story of the Exodus. I invite all the children to find a quiet and comfortable spot at home where they can really use just their eyes and their ears to listen to this story from God. First, I'm going to make some silence. Gather the silence so I can really hear God and tell the story. This is part of the desert. So many important things happened in the desert that we just had to have a piece of it here with us. The desert is a strange and wild place. During the day, it becomes burning hot. And at night, it gets to be very, very cold. And as the wind blows, the desert is always changing. You only go to the desert if you have to, because it's so easy to get lost in the desert. Once, there were children that were so hungry that they were crying. Their parents heard their cries, but there was nothing they could do. There was no food for the children or for the parents. The people of God knew that they would have to move. So the people of God took a long journey to a place called Egypt. When they got to Egypt, they found food and work, but there was also a king named Pharaoh. And the Pharaoh trapped the people of God. The people of God had to eat when the Pharaoh said, had to go to bed when the Pharaoh said, had to work when the Pharaoh said. The people of God were trapped and were slaves. God heard the cries of the people of God. And God became so close to Moses. And Moses became so close to God that Moses could hear God and God could speak to Moses. God told Moses to go to the Pharaoh and to tell the Pharaoh, let my people go. When Moses asked the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh said no. Many times, Moses asked the Pharaoh, let my people go. And the Pharaoh said, no, the people of God were slaves. But then something terrible happened to the Egyptian people, to Pharaoh's people. Some of their children and animals died, but not the people of God. Moses went to Pharaoh and tried again to ask to let the people of God to go. And when Moses asked Pharaoh this time, the Pharaoh said, yes, I will let your people go. Moses hurried back to his people 
And they hurried up and gathered all of their stuff because they knew that Pharaoh might change his mind. Maybe Pharaoh was just feeling sad or scared. And he would change his mind, so they had to leave quickly. They didn't even have time to bake bread or let the bread rise, so they took unleavened bread with them. They traveled around the desert as quick as they could so that they didn't run in to the Pharaoh or the Pharaoh's army. They traveled until they reached the sea. And when they got up to the sea's edge, they were trapped again against the sea. Moses cried to God and said, God, show us the way. God did show Moses the way. God parted the sea. And Moses led the people through the sea to safety on the other side. They could hear the war chariots coming from Pharaoh's army. He had tried to stop them. Moses led each person one by one to safety. And once all of God's people were safe, the sea closed again. God's people were so full of joy and so happy that they gave thanks to God and danced. The prophet Miriam led them in the dancing. I wonder, I wonder if you see yourself in this story. I wonder how it felt for the people of God to be slaves and trapped by the Pharaoh. I wonder how it felt when they were trapped by the water. I wonder how it felt to be led to freedom. I wonder what your favorite part of this story is. I wonder what you might think the most important part of the story is.